Yo, what's up guys? As you can see, I'm in the movie theater right now. And today I'm going to be turning my handheld into a full movie theater setup. So yeah, stick around and stay tuned. We're gonna check this out. Okay guys, so let's talk about setup. Setup for this whole movie theater process is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So what you're gonna need is of course the VR headset. This is going to function as your your movie theater. Your, your, your whole movie theater setup is right in here in the VR headset. And you're going to need a PC. For this, we're using a, um, a handheld gaming PC, One X Player Mini Pro, but any handheld or even any PC for that matter will work with this process. So what you're gonna need is one app on each of your devices here, and that app is the virtual desktop app. So in order to get the virtual desktop on your headset, you can use the, the phone app, the, the Meta Quest phone app. I'll throw it up on the screen now. You're just going to search for virtual desktop, and then you're going to download that onto your headset, or you can do it within the headset on the, um, the store. Also, you're going to need the virtual desktop app for um, PC. You can download that, set it up, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's also available on Mac, but for this test, we're gonna be gaming, so we're gonna be using the PC. So once you get the virtual desktop app on both of your devices, in order to set it up, of course, you want to open the application on your PC, and then there's one simple step to get these two things connected. So make sure they're on the same network, that's the first step. And then within the virtual PC, the virtual desktop app, what you wanna do is you want to put in your username for your, um, your Quest headset. Um, so in order to find a username, you can go back to the, the Meta app on your phone and then you click on your profile, click on your name and then under your name, you see it next to the, um, the at sign, you'll see your username. I'll throw it up on the screen so you guys can get an idea. So once you get your username from your headset, put that into the, the Windows application and make sure they're on the same network and then you're going to be connected, you're going to be good to go. One note here is that try to make sure that your um, PC it's connected to ethernet, that way you get the lowest latency possible. That's going to be very important for gaming. Also, one more tip, as far as controllers go, make sure you have either a wired controller to the um, PC, or you can have a controller that has that 2.4 gigahertz dongle. That way you have the lowest latency possible when actually controlling the game. Of course, you can use Bluetooth, but that's going to introduce more latency. So you want to make sure you have the lowest latency possible as far as controllers go. So you can even you can technically even use the device itself as the controller, but if you're going to be connected to the Ethernet, you may not want to, you know, having the cable and everything attached while you're using it. So that's pretty much the setup. Let's get into it and test out some games. Let's go. Okay, guys, so we're back in the theater right now. We're playing one of the best games of all time. <laughs> That's right, Geometry Wars. If you remember the old 360 version, the first Geometry Wars, that was a classic. Not sure if it was the first, but just the Geometry Wars on the Xbox 360, that was a classic game, one of my favorite games. So my goal right now is to just show the input lag, the input latency, sorry, not paying attention. Anyway, <laughs> my goal is to show the input latency between the um the system and this whole setup here so hopefully i can get the um controller uh, input to show up on the screen and that will give you a sense of the difference between when i hit the button and when it actually um, responds in the game hopefully this can give us a sense of the latency but i will say that it, it feels pretty good it doesn't feel like i'm not able to move it doesn't feel like it's causing me to die it, the only thing is not really concentrating because I'm, you know, talking while doing this whole thing and trying to explain it. But I will say that if I was to focus, I feel like I'd be able to do pretty good and there's not so much latency where I'm not able to um, play the game um, in, a, in an effective way. I'm gonna try to focus now and give you guys a real um, showcase of the input latency here. Okay guys, so if 
if the mainstream movie theater is not really not really a type of thing we have a more i guess cozy setup here the home theater setup and this this is pretty dope you get a you know more warm environment it feels more feels more like home you know that's what this setup is all about it feels it feels more personal so right now we're playing a little bit of um, Forza Horizon 5 in our home theater setup, and you know we're having a good time. Um, feels good, uh, feels responsive. There's your usual like um, there's a few frame drops here and there, but I think that's just because I'm uh, recording on the headset as well. But I can tell you that when I'm not recording, it's like 100% smooth. And right now. We're getting like around 100 frames, um, so we're having a good time, you guys. We're having a very good time here. And this is let me show you. The, this is the reason you play this type. This is the reason why you want to set up like this. The immersion is just next level on here. You got your your cockpit view, and you're really immersed in the whole the driving experience here. And one thing I will say is that if you don't like this side, you can always switch to the other side if the right side is not really your thing switch over to the left side and hey have fun so this is one of the best ways to play forza horizon 5 um is on <laughs> a virtual home theater setup like this okay so we have another home theater set up here and in this one you have enough seats for all of your friends here while you sit back and play some Halo Infinite. So let's get going. Now this is a pretty nice experience. I'm not noticing much input lag here, which is important when playing a uh, FPS game. I'm not very good, but Oh, as you can tell <laughs> but I'm still having a good time regardless I will say that it feels pretty responsive I promise you I'm not dying because of because of the setup. I'm just a barely average dude, you guys. Don't expect too much from me. Okay, you guys, we're in another theater right now. We are in the IMAX theater. Take a look at this screen. It is massive. And I thought it was fitting to play a game like this. Zelda Breath of the Wild on such a massive screen. And just look at this. It's hard to even see the whole thing while looking at any one um, single point. So if I look at the map, I have to look all the way in the corner. So let's see what we can get into, you guys. Let's see what we can do. Let's take on these guys here. On this massive, massive screen here. We have a whole IMAX theater, you guys. And this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I need these arrows though. I need these arrows. You guys, look at this. This is crazy. The scale of this screen is just massive. It probably doesn't come well over video, but just like sitting here, it feels like I'm looking at this massive screen because I have to turn my head just to see the whole thing. Like if I look up at my hearts in the top left corner, I can't even see the map. I have to like look down and it's an awesome feeling to just to be at this huge scale when playing a game like uh, like Zelda. As you can tell, I'm just starting out in this game. I started over fresh, seeing if I can make my way through the kingdom of Hyrule here in the Great Plains. See if I can take this guy. 
see if I can take this guy. Let's go. I need that sword, my guy. All right, let's get rid of this guy here. All right, let's go. I need that. I'll take that. I'll take all of that. I got a shield. Okay, you guys. Just thought I'd take a break for a second. Just leave the theater and come taking the sights here. It's in my apartment right now, as you can see. Pretty nice setup we got here. It's a new place. <laughs> nah, nah, we're just in our VR setup here. Having a good time. It was a pretty cool setup, actually. Like, you got a, you got a live outside. You got your TV with your Nintendo and your desktop over there. You're having a good time, so let's have a good time, you guys. Playing some Nintendo. So what's cool about this setup is that you can actually um, switch seats here as well. So if you want to sit over here at the desktop, you could even sit there or you can switch seats to the um, to the other side of the TV. And let's actually, this is actually real matter here, you guys. Let's actually, let's switch over to the um, computer. Here we are in our virtual living room, sitting at a virtual PC, playing a game on the PC. This is, this is funny, you guys. This is, this is an elite setup right here. You don't even need a monitor anymore. All you need is this setup here, and you're good to go. That's all you need, you guys. You don't even need an apartment anymore. All you need is this. All you need is the VR. You don't need a monitor. You don't need a TV. You don't even need an apartment. You got a whole apartment right here. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, if the movie theater is too much for you, the IMAX is just too much the home theater is just too much you can come out here to the endless void of space and just you know get away from it all and game out here in the middle of the universe somewhere so yeah let's get to it just play some something relaxing like you know some some kirby You know, it doesn't get better than some Kirby in the middle of the universe somewhere. There's a nice, you know, relaxing, relaxing game of Kirby. Nothing too intense, nothing too crazy. This is supposed to be less stressful when we're dodging boulders. But I'm Kirby, so life is good. Kirby's not one to complain, you guys. Even when dodging boulders. Let that be a lesson to us all. Oh no, oh no. This is supposed to be less stressful, you guys. <laughs> it's supposed to be less stressful. This is the most stressful. <laughs> nah, we having a good time, we having a good time. Kirby fur is nothing. Kirby has no fur. Let's go. Kirby fur is nothing. Let's go. Donuts. Okay, guys, so that was just a overall demonstration of how you can turn your handheld um, into a full um, movie theater setup, or even as we saw, a full gaming living room with a virtual cityscape, or even the vast void of empty space, whichever one, you know, suits your play style. But anyway, hope this video helps. If you have any questions about, you know, how to get this up and running, um, just comment those down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions or comments you may have. And keep in mind, this is not just for gaming um, or even just the games that I showcased in this video. You can use this to play any game that you have on your computer, or you can just use it as like a monitor. As you saw in the um, the living room setup, you can just have this set up as your as your monitor and get a bigger display as you use your um, 
handheld or any PC as a normal computer. You know, um, there is a keyboard um, that's built in, the um, controllers work as your mouse. So this could be your full PC setup with just a handheld and the Oculus Quest. So it's a pretty good setup if you ask me, especially for gaming, very immersive and overall highly recommended. So yeah, use this information, have fun and enjoy your full personal movie there from now on. Peace.